Hello, people. What is going on? My name is Krusty, but as always, and sorry if you heard that, uh, my knuckles cracked. So, um, I realized the last, um, the last, uh, PC build was around 20 minutes, so I'm gonna try to keep this one under 15, um, but, you know, I just, I, I gotta talk about everything, make sure you guys are informed, because last thing I want is you guys just go and picking random parts and be like, my computer doesn't run all my games on highest settings. So, um, yeah, whatever. You guys know the drill. Go to cyberpowerpc.com. That would be my keyboard clicking. I love it. Razor Black Widow. Uh, full one. Um, it's actually not the best, but it's pretty decent. So, um, this is going to be the medium range uh, PC build. So, the last build we went with uh, AMD. Um, this one we're actually going to go for Intel. So, up here you see this little toolbar. Go for Intel and pick like this $999 one, right? Alrighty then. So we're here, and um, we have to start off with the case, right? Um, so these all support 120 millimeter liquid cooling. For this build, we're going to go with 120 millimeter liquid cooling anyways, because once again, it's medium uh, and range build. Um, and if you're doing any type of extreme overclocking here, you should probably know how to build your computer already. So the case, very important. Um, I'm not going to go with any of these, since um, they're a little bit on the lower end. They're all nice cases, but for this one, I'm going to go ahead and pick the 650D. It is $144 more, but let's face it, it looks better. It's um, a little bit better cooling. Um, so, yeah, um, I would recommend this Corbide 300R, or Carbide 300R, but um, we're getting this one because it looks nice, and, um, yeah, it's a medium-end range PC build, and you know, um, so yeah, we're gonna be going with this one. It has 240 millimeter liquid cooling support. Um, it's very, very nice. Um, the next build, we probably will be going for like this uh, Primo one. This is a very nice case. Um, that's probably my favorite case at the moment, uh, besides the 900D. But um, off of that, um, so laser engraving, none. That's a waste of money. None. None. Well, neon lights upgrade. Um, here's the thing. Um, these things are beautiful. I actually have two in my case right now. Um, in my case, it doesn't do it justice because I have a nine, half 932, um, so it's not really a good case to be putting them in. But um, these things are amazing, so we're just going to go ahead and like get a blue one. Which one do we want? Um, I have a cold cathode one. These are pretty decent. Um, get the blue ones. Um, it's 10 bucks, and it makes your computer look nice. And you have a window on this case, so you might as well get it, right? Um, extra case fans. This case comes with uh, enough fans as uh, as it is, um, but I'm just going to go ahead and add maximum 120 millimeter case cooling fans for your select case. And I'm going to go ahead and make them blue because we got blue LEDs, got to match, right? It's only like 10, 15 bucks more, I don't know. Um, so you might as well get it. And if you're going to spend, um, this build's probably going to be around $1,500. So if you're going to if you're going to spend that much money, you might as well just pay a couple more dollars for some extra fans for your maximum cooling potential. You don't need that. Um, sorry, guys. So, um, here we come to see, uh, the CPUs. Um, this is a touchy subject. For medium and range build, if you want to spring the extra couple of dollars, I would go for the 4770K. Um, however, the main difference between this one and this one is this one has four threads. Um, and since this is a gaming build, this CPU is all you're going to need. Honestly, you could probably get away with uh, some of these i3s down here, but just go for the one they gave you, which is the i5-4670K. Uh, it's basically this one, but um, if you bought this one over this one, the 4770K, this is probably more for um, rendering YouTube videos. And even then, the 4670K is going to be perfectly fine. It's going to do everything the 4770K is, um, just a little bit, like, it, it won't matter. Just get the 4670K. Not a huge difference. Unless you're doing uh, 3D work, which um, if you're buying this computer, you shouldn't be. Uh, performance tuning plan, you can do that yourself. Uh, no overclocking, um, unless you're like freaked out by doing it yourself. But um, quite honestly, just, yeah, don't do that. Um, the cooling, uh, this one is included in the price. Um, now, for this one, we're going to go ahead with the side. Uh, well, which one do we have? Which ones do we have access to? Let's go for this uh, Cooler Master Sidon 120. Actually, no. Go for the H60. Um, right? Yeah, just go for the H60. Um, and Winter Gaming Cell free upgrade from. Yep, it's free upgrade, so you might as well get the this one. Um, 
You can get dual uh, fans, which might help cooling a little bit, but you could just stay with single. So get the H60. Um, in I would say it outperforms the 510 LC, um, but don't quote me. Just get this one because it's Cooling Master. They make quality products. Not saying that these people don't, but just get it. Quit asking me. I actually have this one. It's also good, but it's plus four dollars, and your water cooling's better, so you might as well get that one. The one that I was talking about, which I don't know what it is. Okay. Um, this will be used in the high-end build. Um, if you want to spring a couple extra dollars, this would also be a good upgrade, seeing as it will give you even better temps. Yes, even better temps. Um, uh, coolant, you don't need that because you're not doing custom water loops. Um, here's the motherboard. Um, the motherboard that they give you, once again, is pretty decent. Um, unless you want any fancy features like, uh, you know, dual Thunderbolt support, any of that stuff. The one that they give you, this one, it's pretty good. It's an Asus Z87. Um, I believe you can 2 PCIe, 3 PCIe, 2 PCIe e, uh, 16. So this one will let you cro crossfire um, later if you decide you need more um, GPU power so you can run your game with those higher uh, frame rates and resolutions. But the one that they give you is pretty good actually. There's some pretty good reviews on this one. Um, if I did have to recommend an, a different one, which one would I get? Um, Hmm, which one would I get? Hold on. Three. If I had to recommend a different one, I would get this one. This uh, Extreme 4. Uh, just because it has more PCI slots and, um, yeah. But the one that they give you, perfectly fine. It'll do everything you need and, um, yeah, more, probably. <laughs> um, Intel Smart Response Technology. I don't even know what that is. Why would you want that? Okay, RAM. Since this is a medium end uh, build, I'm going to go ahead and get uh, 16 gigs on this. Um, for the simple fact that um, it's, I mean, it's not that much more than 8 gigs, and um, if it's a medium build, you should have 16 gigs. Um, you'll probably never even use half of it, but get it just to, just because you can. Um, any of these brands here, um, very trustworthy, very reputable. Um, I, per I personally have the Corsair Vengeance ones, uh, these ones, but in blue. Um, they're all good. So, you might as well get the Corsair, or, well, if you want it to look nice, get the Corsair Vengeance. If you don't care about how it looks, get those. But, um, I'm gonna go with Corsair Vengeance because it looks nicer. Uh, video card, they always give you a shitty one, uh, as always. So, this is the medium end range build. So, being that it's gonna play all games, if not, or most games, if not all, at max settings. Um, so, go ahead and go with this GTX 774GB version. Now, this is going to make the price go up to 1640 right? I realize this. I really, really do. Um, however, if it goes up to... This is a medium end range build. The GTX 770 is one of the better, um, better buys on the NVIDIA site. Now, it is more expensive on this site. So, if you're not comfortable with this price, it's going to go down a little bit because we're going to take a... because we're going to take away the keyboard and whatnot. But, um... If you want to go on the cheaper side, I would go um, with the 270X from AMD, um, or even the 280X. Um, you're going to save a few bucks, and you're probably going to be getting a better card. Um, for this build, we're going to go with the R9 270X 2GB, um, because it saves us money, and it's just as good as the 770. Um, so yeah. Um, here you can get... Um, the major brand powered by AMD. Personally, I would go with the HIS Ice Q uh, Times Two Edition with double fans. What this is going to do is, um, it's going to be overclocked from the factory. Don't worry, it's not. It's going to work when you get it. Um, the factory has um has uh, tested it thor thoroughly, um, so it's going to work when you get it. And it has double fans, which means uh, better cooling. And um, these cards don't in particularly uh, run that hot. But um, they do get toasty uh, if you're running that Battlefield 4 or whatever games you um, you run. So just get that one. It's a few dollars extra, so don't complain. And it saves you money. Uh, video card 2 and freebies. Um, you might want to look at these, see if you are eligible for any of these. Um, free Battlefield 4 coupon. Uh, uh, you must have that graphics card. Um, but yeah, just go through these, see if you're el eligible. If you are, then go ahead and click them. Uh, video card 3, no power supply. Here. It says required suggested 450 current selection 600. Um, that's fine. However, uh, it is um, a free upgrade. What I would do is, um, if you could find one, I would get a modular one since you do have a nice case and you don't want to see all those uh, cables. 
So let's see, is there a modular one here? Hmm. Here it is. The 650, M. yeah, if it has a, like, M afterwards, it's most likely modular, and I know for a fact this one is modular. And this is the one that you had, I think, right? I don't know. Just get this one. Um, it's not that much money extra. I don't even know if it is, actually. Um, so yeah, get this one. It's modular. It's going to be nice in your case, and, um, yeah. Um, SSD. We are going to be putting in an SSD in this build. So, um... We're going to be giving giving you guys a 500 gigabyte Western Digital Caviar Blue. Now, well, what's this one? What's the difference? Is it the cache drive? Well, yeah, we're going to be giving you guys this drive, right? So it's going to be 500 gigs, and this is going to hold all your um, all your games and whatnot. And what we're also going to be doing is um, we're going to be giving you guys a solid state drive. Now, what this does is uh, you put your operating system and your programs and maybe one or two games that you want to load really, really fast. This will, this is going to be amazing. I have one and I notice the difference. Um, you will also notice the difference um, if you do decide to go with this. And I would, since it is a medium end range build. Um, anybody that you know that has one that has a solid state drive loves it. Corsair makes them. Uh, Kingston does. Um, Intel does, those are all very reputable brands, but nor generally anybody that makes an SSD, it's going to work because SSDs are non-mechanical, so therefore, you know, they just work. Um, secondary hard drive, you don't need one. Wait, hard drive. Is that all? So we got that, and then, but we want a, okay, so we got that, and then for secondary hard drive, we just want um, the cheapest one, which is that one. That'll do, right? Say the three, yeah. That'll be fine. That'll be fine for your games, and then that'll be operating system. Hard drive cooling fan, you don't need that. That's retarded. External, no. No. Um, this, you honestly don't need this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, like, is there an option for none or something? Um, I'm going to assume there isn't. So I'm just going to get the cheapest one in, like, black. Um, but these are really useless nowadays, so optical drive two, none. Uh, this is fine. On the high-end range build, you, we will be going for a sound card. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and continue. My internet's net slow, slow. Um, monitors, if you need one, you can get one, but to keep the price down, we're going to go ahead and say, nope, we don't need that. Um, so yeah, that's you should have a monitor laying around, and if you don't, you can hook it down, up to, once again, the TV downstairs. Second monitor, definitely don't need that. Third, definitely don't need that. Speakers, no. This one, you don't need that. I'm assuming you have a keyboard already. Um, none. Oh, by the way, this internet network card, um, you don't need one because uh, this will be fine, especially. Um, like, even if you're running Google Fire over there in Kansas, good old people in Kansas. Man, I love those people. Um, even if you're running Google Fiber over there, you don't need it because um, that'll handle up to Google Fiber. Um, you don't need a mouse, mouse pad, no, none. If you need a headset, you might as well buy it there. They're pretty cheap. No, no, no. Why are you talking to me? No, 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 no. Power and surge protectors. Um, go back and watch my other video if you want to know about what these are and um, if you should get it or not. Uh, I wouldn't recommend getting them from this site, from this site, just because uh, they are more expensive. Um, but definitely do think about these. Go ahead and continue. Um, so Microsoft Windows 8 uh, is a direct upgrade to 8.1. It does it for you automatically. Um, I would get Windows 8. Um, so yeah, that's just me. Um, Windows 8 is better. I have Windows 8. Um, in my opinion, it's better than Windows 7. You can make it just like Windows 7 if you want without much issue. Um, you can even pay like five bucks for a pro. Actually, I think it's like two fifty. It's on sale now on like Steam. Um, you can and it's it brings up your start menu just like Windows Seven. And for the extra few FPS in games, get Windows Eight. Um, Office suit if you need that, you could get that there, but I wouldn't. I'd get it on Amazon. Standard warranty. It comes with one. That's always good, I guess. Um, sure. Uh, if you want, you can get rush shipping. Um, <laughs> ready to ship the next business day. That's interesting. Um, so yeah, um, we're done with this build. Um, this is what your case is going to look like, but blue. 
Um, or you could pick red colors if you want. Um, this is a very medium end range build. It's very good for the price. Um, Sixteen hundred dollars. They're gonna. Um, it's gonna be shipped to you, um, and they're gonna put it together for you. So um, I wanted to keep this build under fifteen dollars, and we probably could if we uh, get rid of all these lights. So yeah, this is what it will look like, but blue and without these tubes. That's uh, preferred on water cooling. Um, so yeah, it's a very nice case. Um, I've never had this case, but I know people that have. It's beautiful. Um, it really is. So uh, it actually has a hotspot bait. Those things are wonderful too. So fifteen hundred dollars, just round that to sixteen. Well, it's sixteen hundred dollars basically. Um, they're gonna ship it to you. They're gonna assemble it for you. Um, it's got maximum cooling cooling potential. It's blue. What else could you want? Um, I wanted to keep it under fifteen hundred, like I was saying before. Um, this is um, before all applicable rebates. Let's add it to cart and see if there actually are any rebates. Um, where did it, does it even say? I don't even know. But, um, huh. Yeah, okay, well, um, so I'm sure there are a few rebates that might get it down to $1,550, but, um, $1,600 is not that bad considering, um, it's a very good, uh, PC gaming system. If you were to build this yourself, like, uh, go to Amazon or PC Part Picker, um, you could probably get it for a lot cheaper. Actually, I don't want to go there because like, I'm looking up some stuff. I don't want you guys to see. Sorry. <laughs> um, um, so, yeah, you could probably get this, get away with it for like $1,400. Um, don't quote me on that, though. So, um, or if you get a cheaper case, you could get this for $1,400, $1,500, or something like that. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I don't know if I keep it, kept it under 15 minutes. I think it's like 17 now or something. But, um, anyways, guys, without further ado, please like, favorite, comment, subscribe, all the stuff you do. And um, I will see you guys later. So peace out, guys.